Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest and another episode of Real Fairies in Real Photographs. This time, however, I did not take these photographs. My six year old grandson did, and we will call him Big D. We took Sammy to the Mystic Trail or Heart of Iowa Trail, opposite end of what we usually do for pictures. And I was taking pictures with my digital camera and he was very curious about what I was doing, Big D that is. And so forgetting that these kids nowadays are very much used to mobile phones, I handed him the camera, quickly showed him what to do and let him go for broke. Well, at first he stood in one spot for an awful long time and I finally asked him, what is it that he's doing? And he says, Grandma, there are fairies everywhere. <laughs> and I said, well, what do you mean? Because he was pointing the camera at the ground at that point. And he says, see, look, you told me these green boxes mean that there's fairies. The green boxes that he was referring to are the green boxes that show you whether or not the picture is in focus or not on the digital camera. If it's not in focus, it will show you a red box. And I did explain this to him, but we were talking about fairies at the same time. So he kind of put two and two together and he thought that those green boxes meant that there were tons of fairies. So he just kept snapping pictures. <laughs> Anyway, we finally got that straightened out as to what the green boxes meant and then he moved on and he had a very good eye for taking pictures. As you can see on the screen, he actually caught a picture of what I term a fairy bridge that you can see made out of the leaves. What you'll see now in this video are pictures that he took. The fairies really seemed to like him and came out in the photos. I chose two random photos that he took and that is what this video will show are the fairies that came out for him in those photographs. This was done October 3rd, 2021 at the Mystic Trail. Check it out. So this first photo is photo number 1204 and it was taken, as you can see, at an angle. Since it is a little bit blurry, I was not able to take it up to 200% to look at it as I often do. Did not matter. You will be seeing the really cool fairies that came out to visit with him. So here we go. Here is a pixie type fairy waving at Big D. We can see her heart shaped face with pointed chin, big eyes, both arms and a bit of her body. She wasn't shy. This fairy looks like he took a flying leap to make sure he was part of the picture. We can see his green face, nose and eyes under all of the brown. This little one is hanging in a small branch, peeking around at Big D. Notice the red and white hat, hair, and face. This one is difficult due to the blur. This fairy is wearing a type of court jester hat. We see one big eye within the flesh colored cheek. He is wearing a brown cape, brown pants, and we see one pointed shoe at the right edge of the tree. Here, we have what appears to be a tree being. We can clearly see his eyes, nose, and mouth, and even three of his fingernails or claws. He's really a cool being. This little one is sitting in the tree. We can see his face in profile, brown with a green nose. The larger green leaf is covering his cheek. We can even see his leg hanging down and he's wearing a cute leaf shoe. Here is the second photograph that I chose that Big D took that day. It is photo number 1210 and as you can see he got this one straight up and down. He was getting used to that digital camera. He really did a great job the more photos that he took 
and even the starter ones turned out really cool. So here's the fairies. This little fairy stuck out right away because of her pink-like skin. We can easily see her hat, face in profile with one eye and her nose, and we can see part of her body as she kneels on the leaves. This fairy could easily be mistaken for a mushroom. His hat is very unique. We can, however, see his face in partial profile. This means he is turned a bit toward us so we can see his tiny eyes, nose, and mouth. We can also see part of his body and one hand, possibly a foot too. Some fairies are extra unique. This one is sitting cross-legged. We can see his or her head with both eyes looking down, nose, part of the mouth, and even ears. He or she is using the light for blending. Here, we have a green-faced fairy in a white hat. He has bushy eyebrows, and his nose is most easily seen. We can also see his arm from round shoulder to the tips of his fingers as he is holding his hand out, palm up. There is also the pale brown haired boy at his shoulder. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thanks so much. See you next time.